All right, morning, morning, and welcome to yet another weekly. We got etiquette, longtime veteran, and by long time I mean like a year because that's how long season two has been going. Not even a year, actually. But anyway, versus a newcomer, Mike Champ 97, whose um, name is a little cut off, and so you want to fix that. And joining me in comms is Elrock. Welcome, Elrock. Morning, morning. Certainly no slouches on these on the stream today. Could be a fun one. Could be. It's going to be. I guarantee it. You, you got the Tudos guarantee for this one, Chad. This is going to be one of the best races you will ever see. Any rando, any donk, right here, right now. I guarantee it. What have you done? Oh, I, it's not what, what I did. Who made? Wait, who made? Who gen this seed? I think it was Sarah. Well, we're we're going to be see. It's what Sarah's done then. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks like. A little more. We got. We're waiting on Rydog. Okay, that's okay. I met Rydog at AGQ. Er, AGDQ, cool guy. A lot of cool guys there, so I hear. I heard yeah. Donkey Kong was there. What was Dude, he like? Donkey Kong was amazing live, man. He showed me that's how crazy. to do a moon kick IRL. Isn't that great? <laughs> I gotta. I got. I gotta meet Donkey Kong in person. Oh my god. Yeah, he like walk up the hotel stairs, bam, second floor immediately. Unbelievable. All right, we are starting here shortly. Um, etiquette's timer slightly behind, but um, ten seconds on mics. Pretty solid start here. Monkey port's a pretty nice item to have. Definitely need that to beat the game, and it makes you kind of think about the sax pattern up for Crime Miles because you already have tiny. And going. We'll see what uh, we'll see what items actually pop up though. Pride and true prison start. Can't go wrong. And item number one is a golden banana. Now, this golden banana is out of logic, but you can get it with DK. You know, with some good, with some well-timed rolls, it's possible to get it. Let's see if either of them get it. Looks like Etiquette wants it. Mike is just more interested in level two. And I mean... It's kind of a crapshoot of getting this gold minute early anyway. Um, people just want to read the hint. So we got Jape Shops Foolish. Forest level two. Galleon Lanky Tudor Ship. Hopefully, we might need a slam. Let's see where Galleon is. Caves Shops Key 8. Who knows where Caves is? That could be anything. Forest Cranky Tiny. All right, pretty good incentive to go into level two. Did we see the cost on that bee locker? I can't really like, see. I think it's five, and we're buying key two in Caves, so Caves is level one. So Cave Shops is path of both keys two and eight, huh? A lot of good stuff there, so... You're not too unhappy going into caves. The problem is that there's just no coins in caves. There's actually zero donkey coins in caves that are accessible easily. Yeah, it's... Oh my god, you need, like, primate punch access, a couple of them. It's not good. There's, like, coins on the blast course, I want to say, but, like, there are actually zero coins in caves. So Mike chooses to go into the training grounds and go pick up the yeah, spring in the back if, here, probably. Yeah, if you know caves is early, like, going training grounds is a little bit better because you can guarantee yourself at least the three donkey coins in training grounds. Not sure what the developers were thinking, but, like, the three singular donkey coins in uh, training grounds. But, again, it's, uh... It's kind of how it the game definitely... plays out, right? They put them there just so you can, like, it's in the training grounds area, so you can see where they are. Yeah. There are many choices made in this game. Uh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Aw, we got tricked. Well, could have been something good back there, but not today. All right, level one is, in fact, caves. I don't think anyone is surprised about that. Japes Chunky Metal. Oh, it's not too bad to get. I don't think that needs anything special. If you get boulders, you get it. If you get coconut, I think you get it. Maybe pineapple. Lighthouse is key for. I don't think that ch Jabe's Chunky Metal is free, but it, a bunch of things satisfy it. Cave Shops is tiny's. Hmm. 
And finally, Japes Dirt. Yeah, the cave shop's really kind of screaming that it has something. <laughs> or multiple yeah, things. Definitely has, definitely has key two, definitely has at least one move available. Those The key eight and tiny K roll hints may be referring to the same item. But the cave shops could also just be stacked and you're forced to like come back when you have more Kongs or something. We'll see what Mike chooses to do here. Entering caves, you go left, right, center? Hmm. I guess the, the, the there's like context, like which west side you want to go. Like if there's some, if you know there's something like in the main caves here, you definitely want to go center first. Um, obviously, if you have a little bit more items and you know Igloo's path or something, you want to go over there. Um, Honestly, go, I think going it's a, pretty I think it's good a because, watch. What was that? I think it's a total wash here. You're probably going to do everything in caves, so yeah. you're not really likely to favor any one side or the other. Mike goes to the center and then doubles back to the cabin side. And going left is pretty strong too right away because there's just two shops boom right there. Um, nothing in Funkies though. Oh, and there's a potion in the Diddy thing. We're not getting mm. that though. We need Diddy first. We have Rocket Barrel, but... Actually, with some tag anywhere shenanigans, you might be able to get that with, like, Twirl. Oh, does DK have enough coins? No, he does not! Oh, it that's brutal. It requires entering level 2 to get enough donkey coins to get that, unless there's a rainbow coin in place somewhere. This is going to be kind of interesting. That is extremely unfortunate. There's going to be some salt about that one. Does this Kasplap bail us out, though? Do you believe in miracles? Etiquette having an epic battle here. And, well... Oh! Baboon Blast! <laughs> Go we get your coins. <laughs> we can check the Blast Course. Get some things there. I think there. it's coins the Blast Course. That's just really annoying. <laughs> well, they're doing it. <laughs> what else are you going to do? Uh, Chill. Uh, I mean, if it's five, if we think it's five in the forest, which I'm pretty sure it is, you still need two more GB somewhere. So that's not not so simple. Etiquette's getting his fourth off this guy. The fifth might be the blast course, but even still, the sprint cager's out of logic. So there's got to be something else. Maybe the Kasplat. Maybe there's just a move in the blast course. Let's see. No, nope. it's just garbage. I'm pretty sure there's coins in here, but like, I'm not sure where. All right, Tiny Potion. We knew there was going to be at least one move here, so this is going to be path to both Keys 8 and Tiny K rule. It could be the Donkey Potion that the... Uh, oh, no, this is... Yeah, you're right. It's on the path to both. Oh, Coconut Shooter. Sure. That's pretty open. Oh, well, no surprises. That's a very good move, so... If something's going to be on the path to a bunch of things, Coconut makes a ton of sense. Yeah, you got uh, the, all of Japes cages. You got like Galleon Lighthouse area. But again, we were hinted Galleon Lighthouse area. That makes sense. Well, we were hinted that for key four. So pretty good to have. Pretty good to have cooking in your pocket, though. That's for sure. And because Galleon's key four, we know Galleon is going to turn up nice and early, so we don't have to worry about a slam yet. Yeah, yet. we got fighting of the spirit in the cranky shop here. Shout out to Tales Symphonia. Etiquette is grabbing that extra coin. There we go. That is Probably so mean. Gonna grab a couple more bunches here. I, believe, the... I believe Mike fell out of here, but I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Um, he is just gonna leave and re-enter. Fell out of what? I missed it. Oh, he fell out of the Baboon Blast course right early, but I'm not sure if oh, that was yeah. intentional or not. Oh, maybe you wanted enough for the metal or something? I think it's going to get just enough for the metal here, so this will work out pretty nicely for him. Yeah, he timed this really nice. Oh, is Mike going crazy? Is he going to try and kick into this vial over here? Oh my god. Oh, and there's diving! And Ooh, Mike gets there's the something move. good. That's out of logic, but it's perfectly legal. Diving's a nice pickup in caves, though. You're gonna be happy to see that for for a galleon. And there's bongos. Oh yeah, this this all makes sense. I mean, we're we're short GBs, right? We need something to get into level two. So bongos, diving, everything's just piling up now. 
diving on the donkey reward. Diving is just in the igloo area. Oh, wow. The, the minigame requires a gun. So the fact that you got coconut made this doable. That's crazy. I had to get Smarly buying that extra golden banana. That puts him in five. He can now enter level two forest. I mean, you're hard pressed to not check some donkey cannons, though, right? Like you can you can do both of them. You got to be a little careful. Etiquette is uh, well well known for his aim, so donkey's cabin should be fun. The rotating cabin is also pretty All good. Right. Oh, he's also Etiquette taking over. Also got it, and he's gonna realize it's the fun one. <laughs> Let's see what All this right. is, though. They might have to, like, drop and, like, look up at it. I'm not sure if they're gonna, I mean, they're gonna get yeah, a look at it. Yeah, you... The it throws you to the ground, and you have to go back up to get that. Green. Hmm. What do we make of that? I mean... Well, not gonna help them now, but it could be helpful for some routing stuff in the future. We'll see. Best they could find right now is Gorilla Gun, or maybe Pineapple. Dr. Snap smugly posting that we have time for donations. I hope that means Dr. Snap is donating some subs to the stream. And you know, chat, subscribing on YouTube is free. And you can also subscribe with a Twitch Prime sub if you are on Twitch. If you have, or I'm sorry, an Amazon Prime sub if you're on Twitch. For free? That's crazy. What a steal. Steal enough where uh, Mike can grab key two. Very well it done. Doesn't need Gorilla Gun in here, which is excellent. Love that. Oh, so Mike's first out of cave. Oh no, he's going back in. Yeah, I, I mean, was going to say there's like, what... no way he re like he forgot about the the five GB entry there. Yeah, like what are you going to do? You can check like the coconut cage in Krem Isle. You're kind of like hard stuck in caves for a while. You can you need at least one more. He might be going back to the blast course to try and scoop up a metal. That's pretty ugly, that's for sure. And it gets a uh, swiping of the uh, Sprint Cage GB is looking real nice right now. Five might be, there might be like six GBs available or something crazy. All right, we're checking out rotating room. We're checking out this area. This guy, this, the DK shooting cabin isn't even in logic yet. It's a, uh, you need homing for this one. But if you get up on the shelf here, everything just kind of is at eye level, and it, it just makes life much better. No, really like I said, well known today. for shooting. <laughs> oh, well, nope. That, that zinger had a perfect view. <laughs> I'm impressed. I think the first clue that Mike might have that something's wrong here is that 65 on the TNS. If he's not, like, getting a bunch of GB, if he's not getting a bunch of CBs, he's got to be thinking, wait a minute, what's going oh, on? Oh, Etiquette died early! He has to do here. the room again. Oh, it doesn't complete the room. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, but Mike's going back for some more hints, so he'll get some good info here. Oh, yeah, we, we had to see Galleon, so this guy might get him a GB. Might get bailed out by this guy. He did six not find Bongos. He does find a GB. Six gold bananas for level six. What do you got for hints? Blanky Zinger Bounds. That Gorilla Gone just got hinted, no surprises. Wow, six? This is level three? Or level four, I missed it. This is level three. All right, so Zinger Bounce just got hinted and Mushroom Inside just got hinted. So might be the same thing. Yep. What was that last hint now? A storage and arcade to key seven and an igloo to key seven. Which is interesting. Right, but diving doesn't lead to anything in storage, so key seven is looking a little ugly. Plus, it's a second key seven hint. I'm always suspicious when the second key seven hint turns up. That was level three, I believe. So, we'll see what level four is too with diving. I kept making. I make sure he fully clears. Gal or uh, caves before he leaves here. Meanwhile, we're gonna see level four in a second on Mike Champ's side. Castle. He might be able to get in here if if level two is five and level three is. Six. Oh no! Wait, never mind. I'm uh, I am a liar. He's definitely not gonna be able to get in here. 
We've seen no Kong hints. Where are our Kongs? Please, Wrinkly, inform us. Prod's key 8. Oh, we're climbing Prod, that's for sure. Ooh, Etiquette's doing rotating room for an extra golden banana. That's interesting. It's not a short one, that's for sure. Well, that, that could be the uh, production room one. We are definitely climbing Prod. <laughs> No doubter. That's a no doubter right there, folks. You know, vines in lobby four are classic. No, but Mike is loading up on GB, so he's definitely he can pick he can pick between level two and level three Ooh, here. Ooh, sixteen for level four. That's a big jump. We're not gonna be able to get into there. Japes hillside key five. This is fascinating. So now we know Japes is level five, but we still don't have a Kong hint. Can we get a can we get a Kong hint, please? There we go. Thank you. There it is. Lang can be bought in Gloomy Galleon. And Galleon is 6 GBs, so you could go to Ga Mike has a choice here. You can go to Galleon to go buy Lanky, or you can go to Forest to go to a Way of the Horde shop at Cranky. Either or, both are pretty nice. I'm kind of... Hmm. This is a tricky yeah. question. So it looks like Mike Champ is opting to go to Forest. I don't, I don't think there's a necessarily bad... Or, or sorry, there doesn't necessarily an incorrect decision here. I think I would have went for Galen personally because we know we get to freak a Kong that's required to beat the game there. What, another reason I like it is because you would also then have Lanky to tie into your mushroom visit. You'd be able to do the zinger bounce at the top of the mushroom by having Lanky at the same time. If you yep. can buy Lanky, big if, you could be buying a Kong here in Forest. We have no idea what's on this Forest shop. And let's see what choice etiquette makes here. It's certainly a certainly a tricky one. This is not a not a trivial one. So something else that's a little bit notable and is a little a little small quirk in the logic, because we don't have a Diddy or Chunky hint, those hints do not lock themselves. They try very very hard not to lock themselves, which means we don't need Diddy or Chunky for at least key four or key five. One of the two keys is just available. I think it has to be key four because key five is in Javes. So your key four does not need Lanky or it does not need Diddy or Chunky, which is a little interesting. Not that we know where they are, but you just don't have to worry about them. You should be able to find key four for sure. Get five more hints and. Figure out where they get, get hinted at, please. Game. Etiquette is almost done with clearing hints. It's gonna be very interesting to see what he does. In the meantime, we're already seeing nighttime on the side of Mike Chan. Mike took a classic forest route, which is run to the mills, check the one thing that cares about day, and then make it night, because night is just generally better for forest. The funniest thing I found about DK6 for randomized is that for glitch speedruns, it's better to keep it on during the day, because it's just really easy to get in the dark areas. Huh. Yeah, I guess... Hmm. I guess the Thornvine area isn't the, too scary. I think the only problem is the Owl GB, otherwise I think you could keep it day the whole time. Yeah, it turns out bodies of water do very funny things to this game. <laughs> All right, we got <laughs> an orang stand in uh, forest shops. And meanwhile, Etiquette did, in fact, go to Galleon. So that O stand, we know we need O stand for uh, for the Zinger bounce, logically. Frankie's got something for Chunky and Galleon. Etiquette really just wants to get Lanky Kong free here. You're going to be able to get the Galleon two-door ship right away. Like, it's just going to be really nice, especially like you said, just going into forest with Lanky is going to be really good. We got a crown. Like, it's always sad to see crowns um, on the uh, colored banana rewards. 
Uh, we're gonna get a peek at what Langy has. It's a blue violet. We got a key! Just randomly a key. Whoa, what is Not this? Not hinted. Is... Oh, he does! Wait, 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 wait! Ooh. This can be done without vines. Etiquette doesn't it's know really, that. It's, it's really, really, really hard, though. You, you have, like, can't... two seconds leeway, but you can't- Oh, yeah. he's going for it! <laughs> Oh my god, is he trying for it? I don't think it's worth it. This is this is 100% key four, I think. Because this is vines locked, the only thing that would make yeah, sense is, is that vines is in the lighthouse, and you will just get vines on the lighthouse area. So I don't think you really need to push this one. Yeah, he kind of figured, so he is out. Meanwhile, we Lanky's... got a blue lanky potion there. And it is way of the horde, so we gotta keep an eye on that guy. I would almost guess that'd be trombone, yeah. I don't. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but I think it's pretty strong that it is. The yeah, etiquette's probably just gonna go to shops now. I presume Lanky is gonna be one of these next two. Well, he has to be because he's hinted. Well, especially because the way the horde shop in forest turned out to be a move i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to buy lanky here and he'll be our third kong which kind of makes the the galleon play just better i think meanwhile mike champ is doing the mushroom climb finally at the top and we're probably gonna see lanky who gets to buy him oh anyone well, there you go. That makes things simple, doesn't it? Coins, coins are not coins are not particularly plentiful in this game. Like, you're not going to get a ton of coins floating around here. You can like backflip up to some DK coins here, but by and large, you're you're kind of broke. <laughs> you got to deal with it. I don't think Etta gets too concerned. Like, he can go to the lighthouse area get some coins with Tiny if he doesn't want to do the backflips. Oh, another! It's grape. Whoa. Pretty nice, Whoa. easy to find that, so no need to worry about that guy. We do not have the outskirts hinted, so we don't really need to consider the grape yet, but it is certainly nice to have. And three items in outskirts already, though. Wait, where's Blast? No, wait, we got that. Blast? Oh, yeah, oh, right, right, right. The, um, from the Kasplatin cabins. The, the two door ship done, that's, that's outskirts. Haha, <laughs> silly me, how did I not know that? I, the fool. Now, that said, Mike's trip up the mushroom is still going to be useful. He'll have the warp available to him when he needs to get back up here, so no problems there. Wow, rare, rare to collect those DK coins in DK's five-door ship. Yeah. That is a... Uh, I think I've collected those one time, like, uh, if all the seeds I've done. And Mike gives us the good news that we do not have to worry about the check of legends. Crisis averted. The mushroom interior is hinted, I but... I mean, Not you say that. crisis averted, but we have some very hungry viewers here wanting some god awful seed that absolutely destroys these two runners' psyche, so. It's all a matter of perspective, right? It's a crisis for who? It's a crisis for <laughs> the people running. I would argue it's a crisis for us because that would mean our hints are going to get absolutely obliterated, but the viewers would be feasting. And he gets still on a quest to get more money. <laughs> yeah, just went straight to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. The lighthouse is certainly nice, and the, the lighthouse is hinted, so like we might end up with, with... We're pretty likely to find vines in here, I think, so... Not sure where. Could be the... Could be our friend Kevin, the alcove Kasplat. Are we just calling Kasplats Kevins now? <laughs> This guy's name is Kevin. This one specifically. Oh, this specific one. Okay. Those those of you who know. Oh yes, this is Kevin. Kevin only he's not has. Have, he does a, not have mines for us today. That is almost a vanilla blueprint. It's the wrong color. But we got all sorts of options for stuff here. Uh, the seal. You could. You want to race the seal? That's an option. Four things in the path to uh, outskirts. Why not? It's coconut locked. I mean, it could be your something for key eight. It could be something for tiny key rule.
feel like Mike Champ's being a lot more conservative about his coin spendings than Etiquette was. Etiquette was just spending every golden banana he sees. So I'm thinking that Mike Champ will be able to get Lanky here. I haven't really been paying attention to his coins, though. He did get a rainbow coin in Forest. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he's clearing out Forest nicely, oh, yeah, he's stacked. I think Etiquette oh. bought an extra GB in, in, in Caves, too. That would, that would put him down pretty bad. Force him into the lighthouse area first, which, I mean, hey, that's not that bad. You're coming here anyway. But does Mike get to do anything interesting with Lanky? Maybe press his advantage, head back to Forest, go scoop up his way to Horde there. No vine sighting in the lighthouse yet, but there's still a few more things to do. I think this dirt is the big one. If it's not on this dirt, then we're getting in for a weird time. Yeah. So maybe, uh, maybe it's on the lanky check. Oh, that would make because a lot of sense. That's the most likely spot to me. Because past that, it starts getting scary. Like, we gotta go find Diddy, maybe? Or we gotta go find Chunky and Punch and a whole mess. I mean, ultimately, we do have Rocket Barrel, but, like, it does kind of get messy. You're right. Yeah, we'd have to find Diddy entirely unhinted. <laughs> And we know, well, we know that we've already established that it's you don't need Diddy or Chunky for Key 4 because of the hint placement. So I think this has to be in the Lanky check, actually. All right. My so champ is get... about to find out the keys here, but we'll see He's if... a good word. We'll see if he knows... Oh, he doesn't even... Not even bother checking it. Okay. He probably just wants to do the lanky ship, which, I mean, is okay. That does make sense. I mean, the lanky ship is way the horde, and he'll be able to see the tiny one and be like, Oh my god, it's a key. Hang on, turn around. <laughs> Stop everything. I need that. But it's going to be easily get these coins out the water level, Sai. Raised water helps here. You can do it without raised water, but it's like super finicky. It like relies on the water oscillation, I think. It, it, it's just a huge waste of time. Oh, well, that's interesting. Did Mike look at the tiny two door ship? That would be awkward. I can tell. <laughs> well, I'm so sure he'll come Moon back. Balloon is on the hinted two door ship spot. Interesting. Well, I mean, the stars are aligning, aren't they? We got Balloon, we got Sprint, we got a Beetle Race? Man. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Maybe a Beetle Race, maybe a Gold Tower, maybe an Igloo if we find, if we find Trombone. All the Balloon checks are kind of... They're pretty close by, actually, so... Balloon is... Better than it looks here. All right, seal race time. What do we got? Blueprint and a medallion. Oh, we're not doing the seal race for like the three seal race fans in the chat. Sorry. You may as well have said it's a heap of junk. So this is an, Kevin's an interesting Kasplat to kill when the water level's high. You don't need to slam him. You can just jump on his head. Right. I think different Kongs do different amounts of damage to him. It's weird. Uh, he got it. <laughs> yeah. It's a little finicky, but not too bad. That was some NA aim by etiquette there. <laughs> All right. Renowned for his aim. We are about to see if there is something, in fact, in this crate. At the bottom, which we couldn't see before, and actually, Etiquette's going to go right there, too. Oh, yeah. I love Etiquette's routing here. He's going back and forth, back and forth. But he's doing, he's progressing the world state every time he goes back. So he goes, he goes to the lighthouse, raises the water, frees the seal, goes back to the shipyard to buy Lanky, and now he comes back here. It, it, it just works efficiently with the warp Oh, is this vines? It is vines. There it is. Had to be. There we go. Now, hopefully Mike saw the the bonus barrel in Tiny's two-door ship. 
and goes back for that guy. Etiquette knows exactly where to go. He's gonna go straight to keep four. Yeah, Etiquette's like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. He was shaking his head. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, he's got it. I believe he just described those vines as Super Pog Champ. <laughs> Interesting. I, I think I agree. We got a doink on the side of Mike Champ here. I wonder if anyone's gonna check any bosses. I mean, no reason to right now, but gotta be in the back of your mind at least a little bit. Especially if you start running out of checks. And Etiquette's banana routing is so good. I'm very impressed. It's Look at that. Clean. And he's rewarded with homing ammo. Yeah, now we can go back to that one uh, cabin and do DK's thing. Check right there. Yeah, well, already done, so nothing to worry about there. But it could also be the forest lanky attic. That also logically requires homing, so that's of interest. Somewhat of interest. I'm not sure how much of interest it is. I, th I would probably wait at the same until homing gets hinted. Etiquette spinning back up to the other side of the five door ship. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was thinking boss yet, but I guess not. I mean, tell you what, I'm not sure you. Well, hmm. I'm wondering if you actually do want to see a Diddy Chunky hint in Lobby 5, or Diddy or Chunky hint in Lobby 5. I'm not actually sure you do, because if you do find them, then they're only fair game once again. You may need to go find them for key five, but if you don't find them, then you definitely don't need them for key five, and your key five will come early. Hmm. Bit of a bit of a catch twenty-two. The Womp's Fortress Gold Banana has been obtained, and we are now at the 30-minute mark with key four. You got key four, you got a pretty good lead on key five. Uh you don't know where Diddy and Chunky are, which is unfortunate, but I think you're about to get that info out of lobby five. That would make the most sense. I wonder what Etiquette's thinking. He's still sticking around for something. Maybe the treasure room? Possibility. Yeah, With I balloon, think treasure did. room's a decent play. You got Baboon Balloon in logic. He appears to be lost. This is highly <laughs> unfortunate. The starfish turned him around. <laughs> lost just like uh, Wrinkly Kong told you in that one hint. Just as lost as we are. Well, good luck. He made it out. Well done. Yeah, this is what I suspected. We're gonna check out Treasure Room. Even if you don't have Mini Monkey, this uh, Baboon Balloon play is still pretty strong. I hinted Baboon Balloon. Just makes sense. Is this a Tiny Metal? If that was a Tiny Metal, I would've spat water everywhere. That would've been insane. And right, now it's Mike's turn to unload his coins. That was a nine coin gold banana, but he doesn't care. And there's just a gold banana up here. Big sad. Not this balloon check. There's a. <laughs> that's probably the best case scenario, but we'll see what uh what other balloon checks may turn up. Now with some combinations and some very good backflips, you can actually climb these gold towers without having Simeon Spring. You can skip most of the Simeon Spring checks this way, actually. Or skip needing Simeon Spring for these checks. Most of them. Not all of them. <laughs> Sometimes they get you. I think this was a gold banana, but it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's gold banana. Alright, Mike all right. Bales, I don't think he's I don't I don't think he saw it was in Tiny Tudor ship. No. Nope. That might haunt him, because he could have checked it when he was in there, but I chose not to. He also isn't walking out with homing, so he's not thinking about the attic, but he's going there anyway, so that it'll work out in his favor. But he one returns thing, to forced. One thing I see a lot of new runners miss when they're first doing this is, like, you can peek a ton of checks. You don't necessarily need to, like... If you can't do that, doesn't mean you don't need to know what's there. An igloo tiny? Castle surroundings foolish. I like to say knowledge is power. It is so good in this game. Main Isles, key eight. 30 something? I didn't see this. I didn't see the the ones place. Jabe Snow rewards Diddy K rule. That's our K rule then. Diddy, tiny, lengthy in some order. Cat 
Chunky can find Didion Castle. Interesting. Oh. Oh, shoot. We don't know where Chunky is, though. <laughs> nope. So we hit that scenario. We now know we don't need Diddy or Chunky for Key 5. Because we can't get Chunky for Key 5. Because Chunky's hint will not lock himself. Beautiful movement by Etiquette. Too bad it gets you a medal, which is basically useless in uh, Season 2 settings. Indeed. But this is his first trip in a forest, so we'll see how he clears this one out. Mike's third rainbow coin. He is actually loaded. Feels good. Got that wad of cash jingling around his pocket. I guess the wad of coins for that matter. 31 for Japes. That is kind of brutal. Because you know Chunky's available, but you don't know where. And you won't get that hint until you can get into Japes at 31 GBs. So we may not be seeing Chunky for a while. Or somebody might just randomly find Chunky and get a, get a nice little time save from it. At the same time, these players have gotten really, really good at getting a lot of checks out of slime. So 15 gold bananas seems like a lot, but like, you could really get that really quickly. Oh, yeah. I. Wow. Mike still only has one melon because he didn't find bongos in caves. Taking advantage of that melon crate that I don't think I've ever broken open before. <laughs> also, shoutouts to Etiquette rolling into a cop and killing it. That is like some ridiculously precise timing. Well, I mean, this is season two on version two, so did we still it's still uh, glitched in this one. Is it in all force? I thought it was just night force. It's, still, it's not night yet. I, th I think it's all. Look, I'm trying to make I'm trying to give him props here. All right, I'm not I'm not trying to bring him down. <laughs> Alright, but Mike is headed towards a way of the horde here in the mushroom. Could this be chunky? It's possible. This, this could also be trombone or trombone or barrels. Actually barrels is my money. Chunky would be great, but yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be barrels. Oh. Whoa! There's Super Simeon Slam and there's barrel throwing! Whoa. The two pack. Pretty good. So that solves a Lanky Carol hint. Life is good. Hey, remember, Etiquette has not been to Forest yet, so he has a lot of clearing out to do, while Mike Champ has already been here once. So it's likely he's going to be clearing this area faster. But remember, he does not have bongos. He does not have key four. Okay, yeah, that cop was not doing anything. He ain't guarding nothing. We got to work on getting him buffed. Getting him strong. In due time. In due time. Version 3 out sometime TM. <laughs> Soon TM. I love that. And maybe after the stream and interview, we'll talk about version 3 because I don't think people know what exactly it entails. It's, 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 uh, some might say it's uh, pretty good. I'd call it pretty good. Alright, back to uh, Isles, Mike Champ goals. Looks like we're going to check a grape switch here at the back. Great check. Isles checks are always good. Love Isles checks. Yeah, yeah just we're gonna be in the gray great one, in checks. and I'm hoping someone remembers the vines check, which I feel like at least one person forgets about every single race. Oh my god! And plus, you have vines like pretty loudly hinted for you. Like, you got to be checking that for sure. Like, we've got coconut and diving both to tiny K rule, and those are both like directly pointing at vines. Maybe like mini monkey or feather is back there. We've got coconut on the path to key eight. That's just for vines, but maybe vines gets you something else. We've got the igloo on the path to key seven, which is diving, which could, which points you at vines. So like vines checks are like super important. So like checking the caverns is really good here. Uh, there's Mike's homing ammo. Checking the, the vines dirt in the training grounds is huge. Red alert for vines. Unfortunately, the bonus barrels also count as vines checks. So. It's gonna. It's a bit of a, a bit of a rough one to piece together to find your key for. 
unfortunately, usually when the bottleneck is earlier in a seed, it's a less of a disadvantage to miss it because there's just only so many things you can miss. You'll get you'll last the location it sooner rather than later. So it'll hurt in the meet in the short run, but you should be able to recover in the long run. Good play by Mike Champ here. Not gonna lead to anything, but again, Baboon Balloon is path to something. It's not gonna be that. All right, who's gonna check the Beetle Race first? Somebody's gonna check it. Somebody's gonna be paranoid enough to check that thing. I am paranoid to check it. I ain't scared. I check it for the. I check it for the fans. The stream value. A man of the people. Two does. Things I do for the stream. One, buy the bean no matter what. Two, check Beetle Race. Lawful good behavior. Just, just simply correct. Chaotic right, good. Here we go. Race the beetle despite knowing that it has a junk item. Wow, that that's that's crazy. Alright, put your hands together. What could this be? Training grounds dirt. Is this something good? I wanna I wanna see something behind vines. Caverns. Training grounds. Please. Bang! Feather. Perfect. Oh, it's Feather Bow! So remember, Main Isles is Path Key 8, so there's the item from Main Isles. Oh, a item. It could be more. And both good news and bad news, that solves both of your tiny K roll hands that you have. So, hopefully Mini Monkey just turns up. Etiquette is 10 bananas away from getting his uh, medal for Lanky, which will be Super Simeon Slam, and there's 10 in here, so again, very nice routing. Oh, and he missed. <laughs> uh, the bane of every DK runner's existence, depth perception on the camera. It's brutal. Now it's unclear if we actually need that slam. Wait, actually, logically, I think we're going to need a slam. Logically, we'll need a slam, at least one slam, for uh, Tiny Production. Because Factory's level 6 or 7. Yep. So having one slam in the pocket is pretty nice, just for logic purposes. You kind of know where one is. It may help you determine paths a little bit better. I think Etiquette's going to be clearing out the Mills area at night here in a second. Mike's kind of dancing around between levels. He still hasn't gone back to that two-door ship. Yeah, I, 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 I'm afraid he's orphaned it in a really bad way. It's going to be a while for him to come back to that, I think. Mm -hmm. I want to see him check caves just to follow up on balloon checks, but caves is otherwise really unappealing because you don't have any instruments. Looks like he's getting the ever... Evasive, oh, tiny this metal. is gross. This isn't logic, I think, with feather, diving, and grape. I think this isn't logic. That's nasty. Yeah, because I think you can grab some feathers in the pathway going to the apple area, the beanstalk area, even though you can't actually open that final door. I don't think you need that. I think you just need the balloon on outside the mushroom. The oh yeah, the balloon around outside the, the mushroom. Hill. That's right. The eight pack around the anthill that etiquette just got, and that should be enough. Combined with what, like five inside the mushroom, uh, seventeen in the river. Why is it seventeen? Only rare wear knows. Oh, it's this balloon too. All right. Well, it's not actually that close anymore. That's actually the one I was thinking of. Okay, finally seeing a boss check. Here we go. I mean, I think he's he's starving for options, so he just needs to know. Is it here? Please. I beg you. <laughs> the more stuff he finds, fans the more... are winning tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> the more stuff he finds, the more it baits him away from a pretty rough location. Tiny. Oh, we're going to see the uh, really stupid slow room check. <laughs> the mushroom slam? Mushroom slam, yeah. Is that a stupid slow room check? I didn't think it was that bad. 
I think it's slow. You know what? I thought about it some more. You're totally right. It is slow and bad. Uh, and some of that is attributed to my inability to get, or my consistent ability to get clipped by these stupid mushrooms fly, trying to get around them. Alright, we're grabbing some of these bananas that don't need budge. He only needs three, so... Oh! oh, oh, oh. What is that doing there? Saxophone on forest tiny metal. That is horrendous. That metal is like one of the worst in the game. If that turns out to be useful, that's going to be a, a great pickup for Mike. I mean, it is useful for finding the final boss. <laughs> and he gets, if, uh, and he gets routing has been so good on, on, um, on CBs that I'd be a little surprised if it turns up, uh, or if he, if he doesn't end up finding his way into the, uh, into this metal. But I don't think it's in logic for him without Feather. I think he needs Feather. Right. And Mike works his way into Castle. We know the surroundings are foolish, so there's nothing really interesting in the surroundings. Maybe the shops yeah, have something. I can imagine he's going to go straight for the shops in the underground here. I think, hmm, best case scenario, he finds Chunky in a shop. I think that makes a bit of sense, given that we don't have a Chunky hint yet, and... You don't have any other accessible way of the hordes until you get to four until you get to Japes. That, man, that trombone is like actually massive, because that trombone is needed for a Lanky K rule. That's gonna be a nightmare to parse in the hints. Good hopefully that gets way of the horde hinted, because that might be a wreck. We're gonna end up with 36 bananas here. Or 35, excuse me. That is brutal. Oh, I totally called it Sax a minute ago. That was trombone, not Sax. Very good move. Very, very good. Love that. And that solves Lanky K roll for Mike, so he's in a... He's chilling. Pretty good. There is one, one saving grace on trombone, if it turns out to be ugly, is that... The helm hint does exist, so as long as Trombone isn't like super critical into getting into like helm, there's there's help. There's help on the way for Trombone. I'm I'm very scared of forced tiny metals whenever they turn up because they uh they tend to mess with your logic or they tend to mess with pets pretty badly because the wild amount the wildly varying requirements for things to to get that metal. There's like a my whole body weird is, combination of stuff. My body is preparing for all the DNFs because they can't figure out it's on tiny metal. <laughs> Race for impact. Yeah, Etiquette does not logically have enough for it, and I don't think he practically has enough for it either. I don't think he can steal tiny bananas anywhere. He's gotta find Feather for this, I think. <laughs> just, just brutal. Your other options are like Mini Monkey or Punch. And Chunky, which. We know Chunky's not coming anytime soon, and probably not. Maybe he turns up in Forest randomly, that would be insane. Edgar's probably checking oh, the boss. Speaking of randomly here. turn up, oh! there's Chunky! Oh my goodness, well... This is normally a skip, uh, check that you skip, because this is a long one to do, and you usually need a lot of things to get here, but that Baboon Balloon makes this very enticing to do. I'm pretty sure that's why Mike Champ came in here. Great read on that one. Definitely worth checking this. And turn the, he's gonna walk away with Chunky. He has trombone. If Etika doesn't have trombone, tr he's not gonna get Chunky for a while. Wow. This tiny metal is gonna turn out to be huge. But Mike forgot about key four. Yeah, like, and that might just destroy him. This is gonna be brutal. This oh, is wow. This is a really interesting seed. Things just worked out in Mike's favor. <laughs> I would have I would have put etiquette firmly in the lead for a while, but things just turned very heavily in Mike's favor. It is it is back to much much more up in the air. Etiquette's gonna get feather, but he got it in the wrong order. Yeah, but are you gonna even think to go back for forest tiny metal? That is very not hinted at all. <laughs> yeah, that is well. Hmm. I don't think it's hinted. It might be hinted, if, it might be... If turns your... on goes back to Forest against Time L, that's like big brain. Yeah, that's like crazy. I don't think... That's that's definitely not the first thing on my mind. He's much more likely to go into Castle and try and find stuff in Castle, I think. Yeah. And just work his way to 31 to get into Japes. 
That feather, though, main aisle to key eight, that could be referring to feather. That might be referring to force tiny metal, which would be trombone. It's possible we have a trombone helm room. I think it's still a decent bit away from that 31 gold banana count, though. He is going to opt to go to level four. Yeah, he's going to castle. Makes sense. I mean, the best thing to do right now, still, is probably to push to 31 to get into Japes. You get your key five in Japes, which we're pretty sure we can get. I'd, I'd be a little surprised if they couldn't. I think they definitely can get it, given their moveset. Yeah, they can do everything in the hillside with the slam they found. Life is good. Oh man, and if you get a tiny helm room, you might think Feather... Blame with a great point. If you get a tiny helm room, you might just think Feather's for helm. And might just write off Feather entirely. So the helm order is... <laughs> might sink or swim etiquette here. That's a little scary. Mike is checking... This uh, mausoleum is uh, low-key a Vines check, so that's another good check, trying to pull key four out of it, but not there. Yeah, definitely not one that checks you think of when you're thinking Vines checks, that's for sure. I, I would actually put that one on the bottom of my list of Vines checks I think of. Ooh, that's an interesting clear vial in Castle. That, that could, could be? be super duper, so maybe you go for it. Uh, Mike doesn't care. <laughs> Uh, I mean, how do you do it? You do with DK kicks. I logically need twirl. And it's pretty hard without twirl, and yeah. still pretty hard with oranges. Yeah, and, and a clear vial past level three is significantly reduced value, especially because you already found one slam. I'm, you just like note it down and be like, well, hopefully not needed. Alright, we are going to see a castle climb here, and again, castle surroundings are dead, so we're probably not going to see any kind of, uh, like, you know those rooms by Warp 4, we're probably not going to see any of those checked, if any, at all. Hmm. Oh, well, he almost got way. owned! I want to see Chunky's metal. I think it's in the logic. Yes, it is. You get 30 in the underground, and then 5 in the tree and 5 in the museum. Chunky's metal is in logic. That might be Diddy. You could also check the museum to see if Diddy's there. We're looking for chunky checks and castle for Diddy. It's not, so it's not, because it's not surroundings, it's not inside the tree, it's not the shed. Uh, so it could be the crypt, the museum, the metal, or the boss. Half of those are pretty bad. You know, Etiquette was pretty far ahead in gold man count, but now Mike Champ has caught up. He almost, he's only two down now. Yeah, that's why, like, getting roadblock, getting, like, stuck on something isn't that scary. It's because as long as you're just continually progressing forward and making good pace and finding GDs, you'll, you know, keep pace. It just starts to become a problem when you're approaching, like, a dead end and you no longer have, like, efficient places to clear out, that you start falling behind people who found the progression and are clearing more efficient places while also progressing their seed. Oh, I didn't know you could make that jump. And I've played a lot of Donk. Yeah, that backflip over to that tag barrel area is, like, super annoying, but I, I, I don't like doing it. And on top of, you know, we're talking about golden banana advantage, Mike's got just a fourth Kong. That's that's pretty good. That will get you moving. I guess I missed that Simeon string was bought here. Oh, we got Hunky Chunky in the other shop. Don't don't know if we need Hunky Chunky. We do not have a Chunky K rule, so a little bit unclear how useful that is. But now you can save the apple. We were just missing pineapple. Oh man, Etiquette will not be able to see that Chunky is in that check. If you had Sniper, uh, you could. Actually, you, no, you can't. You You're you too far trombone. away still. Yeah, you need Trombone to peek that. The balloon hint, or the, the way of the horde balloon will tell him that, like, it, it will make him not forget about that check. He'll It will be considered, but it's definitely unfortunate that he cannot look at that right now. There he goes. 
Skittles. Goodbye, Chunky. Can imagine Mike's doing this for an extra golden banana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried to do a little cam cut over the hedge and just decided, you know what, I'm just going to sprint for some bananas. I like that plan. We'll make a nice easy turn in later. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't actually check the numbers. I just assumed you were lying. Or I just assumed you were telling the truth. I thought you implied that Mike had more GBs than Etta could. I oh, guess it's no, close, I, so. I said Etta has two more, but Etta was okay. way ahead. Not way ahead. It's, it's still reasonably close. Well, no, I was saying he used to be way ahead. It was like oh. 10 over at one point. <laughs> Is what I get for not paying attention. Reading is hard, right, team? Give, give me, give me this one. We're we're not paid to read. We're only paid to count up to the number sixteen. Yes, and even still, that's hard. <laughs> I I love her for all his coin troubles. Etiquette still didn't bother grabbing his DK coins. He's just decided I have enough. And well, we'll see if he's right. Because DK buys a move here. We'll see how <laughs> that'll be a litmus test on it. Does he actually have a good read on how many coins he has as DK? <laughs> oh, he is 30. He is. He's more than oh. fine. What do I know? He's he just called me out. <laughs> he's like, you think I don't know? <laughs> oh, let me show you. Whipped out his wallet and Jeff Bezos materializes. Oh, my God. Oh, man. No chunky calling to make use of that hunky chunky, though. Mike Champ can. Hmm. But can he? Where do you use Hunky without other moves? I guess Jabes. And Aztec. Oh no, you Diddy Guitar. Oh, no, whatever. Oh, this is interesting. This is in logic. It's a balloon check, too, so it's enhanced. I mean, you already know you got Chunky out of balloons, so you probably don't need to worry about balloon too much anymore, but. It's something. Very sneaky knowledge that homing ammo is enough to shorten the path of your bullets so that they actually make it to the switches before despawning. Very smart. Just a blueprint. He's, he's come so far and his reward is a blueprint. That's very sad. We're not in the business of orphaning the dirt on the top of the castle, though. We're going to see what this is. And we come close on 31. Etiquette has 31 plus, or 30 plus 2 blueprints, so he can get into Japes now if he wants to, if he wants to dump one. Or he'll just get the blueprint that's on this dirt and call it a day. Perfect. Like Champ is at 27 gold bananas, but he is just calling it a day and looks like he is going back to caves. Ooh, we maybe get to see Beetle Race? I, I mean, he couldn't go into Japes if he wanted to. He doesn't have key four. He's got to find key four. He's got to figure it out. Nothing in Japes or nothing in Castle turned it up. So now he's going back to clear caves and then probably clear Galleon. I think he's already ran through forest pretty well. Oh, he's got all these chunk. He's got like chunky checks to maybe look through. Well, there's still not much. I mean, yeah, it's slim pickings right now. He's gonna have to just recall that he just didn't actually get a good look at a uh, at Tiny's two door ship. He's just gonna have to recall that to find his key four. Yep. Uh, I guess with a full suite of lanky moves, there's some more interesting stuff here, like the sprint cabin. Hey, we're gonna see, uh... <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Fell off the, uh... Platform there. In the meantime, we're gonna see lanky two to er, lanky single door cabin. Excuse me. The there's sprint a cabin, if you here. will. Oh yeah, that cop is way too dangerous to live in here. Get out of here, bud. We'll have to deal with the purpley boy, but... Yeah, or maybe I would've... Going. Yeah, maybe I would've looked at what the reward was before I bothered with dealing with that cop. <laughs> just to, Are you really worth the trouble? Hmm. A GB would be worth the trouble, but... So maybe it's just worth doing anyway. Ah, whatever. Small things. Well, Chunky's on this boss. Is this Whoa, Diddy? Oh, there's a, there's a thing on there. What color is that vial? That's purple. That's purple. Wow. Purple vial on the level four castle boss. That could easily be Mini Monkey. 
And you can definitely do that boss if you can get in there because you have Hunky Chunky. That is going back to caves. I wonder how long it's going to be before it actually goes into forest for the tiny metal, but... Um, yeah, what do you think of forest tiny metal? That's just insane. It, I kind of want to see him just press on and go to Javes. I'm pretty sure you're going to get key... I'm, no, you will get key 5 in Javes. So you'll get 10 more hints with key 5, and that may be enough information to, like, unstuck you on your Kongs, right? You'll get info on where... Well, I guess you'll know where Chunky is, but you won't be able to do anything about it. Which yeah, I think if it was me, like, Jeep's hillside is where key five is, right? Chunky yes. only has one check there, Diddy only has two, so there's a decent chance you're just going to be able to get it with all the other Kongs. Well, again, due to the hint placement, we know you will be able to get it without Diddy or Chunky. So, you can 100% uh, it's a junk item. Boo. Boo. Boo this man, boo. I would have done it anyway, boo. You know you won't. stop lying, boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chunky something. Oh, there's a chunky vial like Galleon and Cranky. So maybe that sends Mike back to Galleon. That is now checking Beetle Race. It, it's funny how you get moments like this where they're like inexplicably high five in an hour in. They're just like, like checking the beetle race like thirty seconds apart. It's crazy. High fives are strong in donks. That's for sure. It's a large game and yet somehow a small game at the same time. Paradoxical. Right, kind of difficult trick here, especially if you're playing on emulator. Um, you can boom boom balloon to this platform just barely. Oh no, there goes etiquette. But oh, see warp. ya, bud. Bonk. We got you can't get there with warp five now. It's I think it's kind of a wash which way he goes, and he's just gonna go to warp five. Well, he got fifteen, so he can get like five in the river here, and he can get a medal too. So it kind of works out. I guess if he's going back there anyway, he might just go get a five pack. Oh, look, anyway. it was vanilla. <laughs> Great. Well, well, actually, Tudos, that's the reward you would have gotten from Aztec's tiny metal. It's just the same thing. I have nothing to say to you right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get Sarah in here for comms. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tag anyway. out. Etiquette has 31 gold manas. He now has enough for japes. Um, back to forest, uh, though, DK for my champ. Unlike DK64randomizer.com, you cannot just tag anywhere. That has really got to hit those bosses hard, man. <laughs> I mean, he's he, he's like one item short, right? He's one item short. He he knows that Chunky is available somewhere, so he doesn't want to leave anything behind because yeah. something might be Chunky. Problem is, is, he doesn't know it, but he did leave something behind due to a, a slight routing mishap. Just a slight one. It's not even a big one. Just a little a little baby. Oh, I put the training grounds off just a little too long. Really unfortunate. What does the rabbit race have for Walt? He's not doing it, so no. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. He'll just he'll just leave the rabbit to his own devices. Alright, we are going back to forest. We'll see if Etiquette solves the mystery of the seed. The problem is, is that even if he pulls sax, or even if he pulls uh, trombone here, I did it again. Even if he pulls trombone here, he has to then pick Castle Lanky Dungeon, which is crazy. Like, I feel like you're just better off here going to Japes and getting more information out of Key 5. Or just doing whatever you can in Japes. I think he's going for that balloon, man. <laughs> I, there's no other, he already went this way. There's no other reason why he would. Oh yeah, he's going, he's, the... he's going for it, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, going for tiniest metal. Here we go. He might be close already. I mean, you got the like the anthill bananas. There we go, perfect. So there's his trombone. Now what do you do with it? That's the problem. His trombone opens up two other balloon checks in caves. So even if you're following balloon, even if K5 
Caves is statistically the better play. Hey, okay, we're gonna get a daytime here. Yeah, he wants to know what the rabbit race is. Mike returns to the old reliable hidden screen. Where is key four? He knows it's vines locked based on that lighthouse hint. He found out there's nothing else in the lighthouse. It's just vines. But vines can lead to all sorts of nasty bonus barrels. So here we go. I think Etiquette's going to go on to Japes or no, he's going to Castle. He's looking at the <laughs> Castle Lobby, maybe? This is a balloon check too. Oh, he doesn't have Chunky. Never mind. But this is the right call by Etiquette, so we'll see if he just goes straight into underground here. Looks like I'm pretty surprised he's doing this. I, I don't know what compelled him to pick Castle over everything else. Regardless, it was the right pick. Indeed it is. But even if you get Chunky... Well, hmm. I guess if you get Chunky, you can go to the boss immediately. It yep. works, out, works out really well for Etiquette, so... Alright. Mike Champ is back in the correct area. We'll see if they both get the uh, thing they need at the same time. Yeah, Etiquette's just going straight for what he needs. Very nice call. I mean, there's no other option. Uh, there's no other reason to be in Castle right now. It is just this balloon check that you just got with your newly mint trombone. An excellent read. Nothing on the vine check in the caverns. That's uh, unfortunate. Let's see what this chunky move is in the shop. Probably not going to help him, but be nice. Punch. Hmm, that's pretty good. I don't know what you do with it. It's not hinted, but it's pretty good. And oh, Etiquette is Etiquette reacting. And now he has to do the whole trombone thing again. Ugh. Sucks to die in that room. Blech. What? It's over. He knows where Chunky is. He's probably just going to straight up hit, J hit Japes after this. Although, granted, Diddy is freed by Chunky here, so, like, hmm. It's very tempting to stick around. Uh, I don't, you know, like, the um, the museum is what I want to see, right? If you get a look at the museum, you might be able to know if Chunky's here. Punch is available, apparently, so there you go. Punch is, in fact, available. Uh, that also could, well, not the tree, you don't have pineapple. Oh, and the tree's foolish. Right, what, 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 I, I, I compiled the list earlier. It's the crypt, which needs pineapple. The museum, which needs punch. Well, the crypt also needs punch. Uh, the boss, which we've seen to be a potion, which you probably want to do anyway. And the metal, which is in logic with what he has. It's just kind of annoying to go get the metal. He is really insistent on doing this in one shot when it's pretty tight. Oh, he almost just choked it, but he came back on. Whew, do a little ice skating there. Whew, oh, boy, he got away with one. Whew. Well, as long as he doesn't pull a Kuiper here, he's got Chunky. <laughs> no problemo. Nice trick by Mike there. If you lower the water level, if you swim up fast enough, you can still make that uh, lighthouse, I guess, island before the water gets too low enough where you have to do like a little trick to get up there. Oh, interesting. The more you know. There is the chunkster. What to do, what to do. What does Etiquette do here? I think you can go for the boss, but... I think he's just going to walk back to the boss portal by candies here. That makes sense to me anyway. What are the bosses dogging on to? That'd actually be some good hint info if it is. Kinda. 
I mean, it's tricky. It depends on what this move is. The one tricky thing we gotta worry about is that Twirl is gonna be on the way of the Horde. Because production Twirl logically needs Twirl. You can skip it with all sorts of stuff. But you're gonna get hinted a location. You or It is entirely possible you get hinted a location that is just Twirl. Oh, is that a potion in the Lanky 5-door ship? Or Diddy 5-door mm. ship, excuse me? Ooh, is it? I missed it. Oh my... Interesting. No idea where guitar is. No idea where guitar is. Diddy is still MIA, but we do have a suspicion. Hmm. I believe we only have access to 30 bananas. Actually, no, wait. Yeah, 30 bananas without Prime Punch or Gun. If this is mini this is going to be very interesting. Mike Chan has been going back and checking all these private punch checks, but they haven't really yielded him much. Well, then again, like that's what he has to do, right? He has no key for it. He can't advance the seed. Yeah, and the fact that he didn't go on a Chinese two-door ship means I think he thinks he's checked it. This is like the worst case scenario. This is kind of a disaster. Yep. It was a shame because I felt like he was well ahead of etiquette as long as he gets that key four right there. Yeah, if key four turned up in, uh, if he, if he, even if he just saw key four when he was there, he didn't have vines at the time. It would, uh, it would have worked out pretty well for him. He gets his bongos, so Eddie gets, uh, Eddie gets bongos advantage is now gone, but it's not, not really gonna do much for you. And so for those just tuning in, um, we do have one key for hint. It is Galleon's Lighthouse area, and you only got one thing there, and that was Vines. Um, the problem is, the mini game to get key four, the bear, it's in a bonus barrel, that's the thing that requires Vines. So that's going to be really hard to imply that's something you need. Alright, what's this purple vial in the, in the castle boss? It is mini monkey, Ooh. wow. That's so good, that's so good. That could easily go unhinted. That is, oh boy, that could that could cook some people for sure. A castle boss for Mini Monkey. That's a level four. That's not even level three or earlier. That's brutal. Wow. If that castle boss goes unhinted, then boy, we were talking about DNFs before, but oh boy, we're gonna get <laughs> people are gonna get buried by that one. I think. Yo, are we getting a dirt patch and caves check? Show me hunky dirt or uh, kosher dirt. It's time for japes. 71 minutes and we are finally, finally seeing level five. Yeah, this is a uh, not going to be an early family. That's for sure. But that's it's mainly because that trombone was so ugly. <laughs> And, I mean, Diddy is certainly not pulling any punches either. Who knows who that guy is? You'd have to go do the metal to actually confirm that it's not accessible. High chance this is an That's upgrade. So uh, yep, it is an upgrade. Well. I mean, yeah, we're running out of useful clear vials. All we need is Sniper and the second Slam to, and Oranges to clear them out. So if all goes well here, and it's not in one of the two Diddy Lock checks in Hillside, we will have Key 5 shortly. It and shouldn't be Diddy Lock. Is... In fact, I bet it's hinted way the Horde. I bet it is the dirt. The painted room dirt. That is indeed Hillside. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Etika getting hit by a Squawks. <laughs> those, yep. those bad boys have hitboxes. <laughs> they mean business. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Oh yeah, they stay strapped.
there's something so beautifully comical. It's just like perfect slapstick comedy when you get s smacked by a Kasplat and just do an elegant, graceful backflip like two stories <laughs> down. There's just like some like wily e. coyote moment about it that just really makes it a thing of beauty. It's what brings us all back constantly to DK64, right? Can we get some just, DK64 LOLs in the chat, please? Yeah, just in case you thought you were playing any other game, it's just like a DK64 moment, just... Oh, Mike gets to do the homie ammo, that's a... that's a privilege. We love homie ammo. A privilege and in logic. Is there a bat that's not dying? What is going on? One diddy check has nothing. Oh, there it is. What the? Wait, wait, wait. He walked past that point before and that bat wasn't there. What the heck? Is that another DK64 mm. LOL? <laughs> Bats move in mysterious ways. Who knows? Who's to say? Look at that GB comparison. 37 to 34. Mike has four blueprints. I think he has three. Really goes to show you just kind of keep pace and keep afloat, but Mike is kind of running out of, like, density. He's going to just be, like, running towards, like, one-off things as he thinks of them. And that that's what really slows you down when you're stuck. If he gets unstuck, though, it just uncorks the bottle and he just jets to the end. I said the word. That was a mistake. My bad. Yeah, I think we're in for a long stream now, Chad. Buckle up. Sit tight. <laughs> we got Nell Rock Jinx. Oh, you were the one that blessed the seed. I'll, I will remind the chat. Oh, but I'm Tudos. I can say what I want. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, not in the chunky cage. Again, looking for key five on Japes Hillside. Meanwhile, Mike Champ is doing the dance of death. The, the think dance. Think, 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 think. He's got to go back to Galen. That's the only way he gets out of this. He might be able to find Diddy in Castle, which is something, but not good. I wonder if Mike saw the barrel and just thought it was like a banana metal. I don't think he went into the room. He got the ten pack in the he got the ten the two tiny bunches in the first room. I don't think he went into the second room. There is indeed key five in the in the painting room, dude. Good pull. Perfect. But he's not done here yet. The chunky metal in Japes is hinted, so you're definitely not leaving without that. Pretty likely that's peanuts, so Definitely want to, definitely want to pick that up. Yeah, all he's got to do is walk up the path to the beehive area, and he got it. Yep. And with that, he can get ten more hints. That might uh help him resolve the remaining mysteries of the seed. For example, we do not know what our helm order is, so that's a little problem. We do not know what instruments remain to be. Required. Yeah, yeah, we only have two instruments, so we do, even if um, DK and Lanky are needed for K rule, like we still need another one somewhere. The good news is, if we pull peanuts out of this Japes chunky metal, our K rule is solved. We're good to go, no problems. Big if, but pretty decent odds, I think. All right, Mike's headed into the tree. He's gonna get Chunky's metal out of this, I think. He's gonna get a five pack of chunkies in here, and then he could go into the museum for the last bit. And with the uh, punch, he could even do the museum if he wanted. Problem is, is uh, well, you have to do the castle blast course, which is horrendous. Uh oh. This is going to be out of logic. You do logically need sniper. There's nothing in there though. Oh, the important thing was to pull the five pack out of the uh, kind of inside the tree, yep. inside the, the punchable section. You know what? Heck, we'll check this blood anyway. It's just a GB. The uh, the surroundings are foolish, and the tree is part of the surroundings, so there's not going to be anything here. 
It isn't. Oh. I thought he was gonna not look at it. Oh boy, it's actively junk. Love that. I think there's a decent chance Mike Champ is going to be getting Mini Monkey here soon. Like, he's got to be checking, thinking about checking this boss at some point. Right. And that will help him significantly, I think. There is a world, we are missing one K rule hint, there is a world we get TNSs to Tiny K rule, which would be atrocious, but it does exist. I mean, I guess worst case scenario is you get, well, no, we already got barrels hinted for Lanky K rule, so we can't get the, the enormous bait of barrels for Tiny K rule. That would be a total disaster. Oh boy. <laughs> Like, it's one thing to know that, okay, yes, it's on a boss. I need to be checking bosses. It's completely different to be like, it's barrels. I might need a boss. I hope I don't. All right, what do we get here? Remember, this, this was peanuts. Hinted. Show me peanuts. It is, in fact, peanut pop guns. Good Perfect. pull, big pull. All right, we're going to see if Diddy's in this check here in a second. Man, as soon as you see your helm order you might be flying you've got the production twirl to go look at for another item and that's you, you could be good to go with just that Ooh, it is not the museum which is unfortunate all right we're, However, we're gonna be getting 40 uh bananas here in a moment well you have to go yeah so he's still punching this because there's a five pack of bananas inside the boulder over here so he's still continuing on even though he's not going to actually complete the museum I think this, it's either here or we're about to find Pineapple and Japes or something weird. I think this is going to be Diddy. I, oh, he must have missed some in the uh, underground tunnel. Yeah, he got to go out to the underground. So it's either the metal or the crypt. And if it's the crypt, we need Pineapple. But if it's the metal, life is good. Or he just leaves. Okay. Crypt. What's he thinking? He's running into Galleon. What is he coming here for? All right, be advised, Etiquette is uh, slamming tiny switches with DK. Something's up with that. We gotta, we gotta keep an eye on this guy. Yeah, that's patched in the next version. So, um, in the original Donkey Kong 64, we actually didn't know it's called a randomizer. Anyone can pound those switches, even though they're tiny only. Why? Who knows? That's a only rare rare knows. Truly a head scratcher. Ooh, Mike appears to have just thought of the the, the sick bay. All right. Well, Mike checks that. We are checking level seven. What do we got here? If seven is factory, we're gonna need the second slam logically, and it is, so this could Ooh, throw 48. off our... Uh, I could throw off our hints a little bit. Tiny Donkey Diddy. All right. Tiny Donkey. Oh, there's the T, and that's the Tiny Key rule. Mills is dead. I didn't see the lanky hint. I think he cut out of it really quickly just to get up the ledge. That's his vines, no surprises there. The lanky hint was R and D is foolish, so cool. Alright, so Etiquette does know he now needs another slam. You kinda hope to see well, hmm. So we definitely need so now we know we need guitar and sax. That's it. We're good to go. Mike could be getting the tiny thing here. Oh, yes! Mike is finally getting it. He's how mommies are dead. Jabe's Diddy Peanut Tunnel, so we need peanuts. Yeah, I remember they're seeing a vial in there, Ooh. but now we know it's something. It's, I think that was the other slam, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, was it clear? That would make a lot of sense. I think so. That was Baboon Blast. Well, Blast? Yep. Okay. 
And Blast got you... What did Blast get you? Um, it got Donkey... Donkey Bananas. Oh, it might get you Blast. Uh, <laughs> or it might get you Key 7. That's a... That's our only thing we've seen in the cabins. Alright, this makes Blast. sense for Etiquette. He probably remembers that there is a movie can buy Chunky in here. This is gonna give him Primate Punch if he remembers to go there. Right, and then he takes Punch and goes to get Diddy back in Castle. Um, it could still be on Chunky's Metal. I don't think Etiquette got Chunky's Metal. Very unfortunate B-Lockers, though. He's at 45 GBs, and Aztec is 46, and Factory is 48. So he is just barely sure. But key four for Mike will put him back on the path to glory. He's going to run straight into Japes and start clearing it out. So he is hot on Etiquette's heels. There's a lot of oranges right there. Oh. A lot of oranges you can't pick up. They're just lying on the ground. He can't pick them up. Get a load of this. He can't, he can't pick them up. Imagine. Imagine not being able to pick up oranges. Eddie could very happy to see Punch because that solves his Diddy problem of, well, not having Diddy. actually get something with Blast? I'm not sure we did. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. So we don't Etiquette know why Blast never is checked, Etiquette never checked Blast and Japes. So it's probably the Blast course in the storage room for something. And then... Uh, yeah, I think that's more than likely what it is. But or, it could be here. It, it, we do have Diving on the path to Key 7, so it could be Vines from Diving, Blast from the Cabins, something in the Japes Blast course here to do uh, storage. They can do everything in storage, so maybe not. Hmm. Gotta, gotta figure out a way to solve storage somehow. Could be that there's just more steps in the chain. We have three key seven hints, which is a very large amount of key seven hints, so it's, it's very possible it ends up in a very scary location. What are you thinking, Etiquette? Going? Oh, he's going back to Castle. Without he wants Diddy. He knows there's a way of the Horde available with Peanut. Immediately. So he wants that. He wants Diddy to get that way of the Horde, and then, in the meantime, work his way up to 48 to get in the factory. We have all our way of the Hordes. We have... We are missing one foolish hint. Wait, it could be Baboon Blast to get you enough bananas for Chunky Metal to get Diddy. I don't if think so. If pineapple isn't available, I think that would be it, right? It would no, because it would have to be a world where Diddy locks pineapple, and because Kongs are assumed on paths, that won't be a problem. So it is definitely blast for something specific. All right, all right, let me cook. All right, so. The Japes Blast Course has pineapple, and the Chunky Barrel in Storage is a pineapple game. That's it. I got it. That's the crazy right. cook. That's like the crazy disaster di like disaster class. Like that's like absolutely cook. awful worst case scenario. Yeah, these shields definitely messing people up for sure. Okay, wait, no, Snap's, Snap's actually got a pretty good cook here, because if that Blast locks Pineapple, then you would need Blast. Well, no, if Blast locked Pineapple, it would have to be Blast and some, and, uh... Blast and Punch combined locking Pineapple for that to work. Yeah. So it's kind of a mess. Metal paths get real weird real quick. 
D5 for Mike. He's back on the trail. He's back on it. I want to see him do something crazy. I want to see him just, like, charge right into Factory and not even look at the level 6 hints. Just do something absolutely crazy. That would be he's some got extreme it. value right there. I think he's feeling the heat. Like, he's not got to... He's got to feel pretty bad about that key 4, but he is Yo. still pressing on. It is far from over. Remember, he was pretty... He would have been pretty solidly ahead of Etiquette if he got key 4 right there, so definitely not over. Not until the last donk sings, you know? That's actually a little tricky to say. I don't know about that. Because, for one thing, he still has a... He still has to find Mini Monkey somewhere. And he's going to get a TNS hint, which is atrocious. That's like the worst hint you can get. You have to go to do a bunch of things in every level to, until yep. you find your Mini Monkey. That's really rough. Etiquette doing his due diligence and checking the boss when he could is <laughs> paid off huge here. He is no, there's no boss casinoing for him. So I had to get us on the metal hunt, the metal warpath. Yeah, he's just got going underground now. And he's, he's kind of gambling it all on here. He doesn't know it, but the museum's def the museum isn't it, and it's not the shed, because the shed is foolish. So he doesn't know it, but he really needs it to be on the metal right now. <laughs> And if it's on Chunky's metal, this is a this is a a really good you gotta know your metal requirements seed. We had Chunky Castle being really annoying. Forest Tiny Metal being a nightmare. As always. Oh, that was so bad for Etiquette. That fall there puts you at the beginning of Castle. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one tragic death in Castle. That's fine. You you, you just shrug it off and and, and you move on. That's all you can do. That's, that is that is brutal. Yeah, right, Mike Champ's Mike definitely he, Mike Champ's definitely feeling the heat because he just bailed without even checking the beehive. He's booking it. Yeah, he's like, I gotta, I gotta know, I gotta know, I gotta know. He's gonna see cat. He's gonna see factory here. And he's gonna get his hints, and he's probably gonna go in. He can go in right now. And there's there. dinners at one hour thirty minutes in the seed. Wow. Woo. Ouch. That is a big oof right there, let me tell ya. Yeah, that is that is brutal. Alright, Etiquette's being a little too trigger happy on Factory here. He's gotta go back and get the uh peanuts locked move. Well you need Diddy anyway for like, you know, Elm, so it's probably not too big a deal to you can reason. Well, I mean you'll you only need it logically, right? So Right. He's probably figuring he doesn't actually need it. If you live in that world where it's a slam, you can live in that world until you, like, I don't know, find slam on, on a blast course or something crazy. You also really want to have a look at storage here to see what the blast course has for you. I'm thinking production is going to have one of our helm instruments, so sax or guitar. And then... Uh, good luck, you have to find the other one somewhere. I have no idea where. <laughs> Yeah, he's not even peeking the production checks because he knows he's climbing anyway. Who cares? Yep. All right, Mike is not going full crazy. He he is going for his level six hints. All right, so best case scenario, this is bongo or not bongo. So this is guitar up here because Tiny's the first room in Helm. Once you can get into Helm, you can go get your saxophone hint in Helm. You know, level plus Kong, that is usually enough information to go just like beeline straight towards it. So hopefully, best case scenario, you get guitar, which is the third room in Helm, that would be very annoying to get, and you can get the hint for saxophone. If it's the reverse, that sucks. And we sing some of the ass seconds, which I think I get pretty quickly breezed through. Oh yeah. Blast confirmation for Mike. He's gotta be like, what in the heck have I done with Blast the seed? <laughs> he's he's checked everything he can with Blast so far. Oh, 
and your Twirl out of logic when you do this. Oh boy, Twirl could randomly turn up and ruin your day. That would not be great. Cabins is path to key seven. We still don't have key seven. Speaking of Twirl oh, turning up and ruining your day. My oh my god. good god. We yeah. have a seed <laughs> chat. Oh no, we got two percented. Oh, it's worse than 2%. Oh, that's so savage. You thought you could skip twirl. You thought, you thought wrong. Nice try. Turn around. <laughs> oh my god, that is awful. That is so mean. Oh my god. I don't know, etiquette, maybe there's some strats where you can quick switch your seed to N64 and then use leg boosting to get it. Yeah, we got we got anyone in this room on N64. No, no, no! Transfer your save file to N64. Do it on N64. And transfer it oh. back. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? I have no idea if that's even compatible or not. I don't even know if that's possible. But the last course, this is our our good lead. I, th on I think etiquette's tilted, dude. Uh, I would be. I would be very this tilted. Is, that is I, not I good. I think I think everyone playing this seed is going to be tilted. Yeah, that is that is brutal. There is nothing to like about that. Everyone hated that. Oh, like chunky, that. chunky triangle. Okay. What does that mean? Oh wow, uh, Etiquette did not buy this grab out of Castle Shops. He did not get the Diddy Metal while he was down here. Hmm. In fact, I didn't even write it down. So whoops. I didn't write it down either. <laughs> Whoops. So, triangle out of storage? Pretty good odds. I think that's pretty good odds you need this for something for T7. It's not guaranteed, but it's pretty good odds, I wager. I mean, blast. So, blast got your triangle. Triangle plus diving, maybe Chunky's five door ship? No, we've seen that. We do know that Diddy's five door ship has something. Could that oh be gosh. it? Maybe Triangle gets you. Well, no, it, Triangle gets you guitar. Or... Oh, and Mike's finding Mini Monkey off the boss here. Oh, he's gonna be feeling good now. Oh yeah, that's a good find. All right, still need guitar. We now need ponytail twirl. Like, what else is this seed gonna throw at us? Oh boy. Yeah, your best lead is. I guess your best lead right now is just triangles. Uh, I guess triangle plus diving or triangle plus vines. Ugh. Could be triangle for a chunky bonus barrel that needs diving or vines. The fact that diving is on the path of vines is so mean. That is that is a very vague hint. Alright, chunky bonus barrels. Maybe it's also in storage. Maybe it's just this punch lock storage bonus barrel. Main arrow the key eight, but we got feather out of that, and I'm thinking that feather locks your trombone. Wait, but why do we need trombone? Ooh, I think it's not solved. Trombone got you chunky, but nothing else as far as I can tell. Hmm. Right, it's for Lanky K rule, but it's a main aisle to key 8 hint, so we gotta piece together why Feather is needed. Oh, I guess we have Tiny. It could do that. It could actually be, funny enough, it could actually be the Tiny Homeroom. A gun minigame there. <laughs> Whoops. Or Feather finds you Toro or something crazy. I don't know. To get you in your production bonus barrel. We're going back to Castle or something here. Hmm, what might he be thinking here? Oh, he's probably getting the gorilla grab, right? Oh, yeah. He may have remembered. He may have looked at his nose and be like, Oh, I left a shop here. Whoops. And now you got any vial you can think of is fair game, because now you're looking for an unhinted twirl. Uh, you're looking for... Well, you're looking for a vaguely hinted key 7 That's certainly not doing any favors either. Yeah, he's headed straight to candies. Man, you almost wish this boss had sacks and then it sacks lock your mini. 
one fewer thing to find, but not so lucky today. Oh boy. Mini Monkey is going to be in the possession of Mike Champ. What seemed to be a lost cause for Mike Champ orphaning that key for a long time is finally starting to come together here because all the etiquette's kind of getting stuck. Oh, they're going to high five back into level one here. Random caves high five? I wonder why he's coming here. Oh, we want Kent. the Rocket Barrel hint. This is going to oh, be. Oh, this is going to be a dead hint. I love this. A foolish, this. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Jeeps underground. I mean, that kills like. The minecart. That's about it. Nothing else is really scary there. I guess it. Hmm. Yeah, no, nothing else is really interesting. Maybe the painting room, but meh. Well, Mike's back to Japes. He's like, okay, let's just go do that way of the Horde Peanut. Sure. Maybe it's what I think it is, which would be a slam. Then maybe take the slam back to factory. Maybe you find something crazy out of testing. Yeah, I think it never went up. Yeah, no, I mean, he has R&D is foolish, which really makes it not all that interesting to go up further. Yeah. I think if I was etiquette, I'd be checking my triangle checks, which is, of course, what he's doing, so... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Makes perfect sense. Any triangle check you can think of, it's fair game. That's your, like, that's the latest thing they found on the path, so... Continuing to follow that path makes a lot of sense. It is indeed a slam in Jay's. I figured... Yep, that is logically required for that twirl barrel, so... Not a ton of information on that slam. It's nice to have, but... Unless your factory turns up something crazy in in unhinted testing, or... Maybe it's like the Diddy Vines bonus barrel or something crazy. Dang, dude. Seed finally gives us hinted slams, and we just don't want any of it. We don't want it, the seed. <laughs> Not what we want to see. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Whoa. Is this, is this Pony? This has got to be Sax, right? Is this it twirl? is Ponytail Twirl. Whoa! Oh my this, goodness. This makes perfect sense. The Igloo is hinted for T7. We thought it was diving. It's actually for Twirl. That's insane. All right, so what he's about to get on storage is something for T7. I, or no. Well, remember, Igloo area was hinted Wait. twice. Once for Tiny K rule, once for T7. And the Tiny K rule was definitely for diving, because diving got your vines and vines got your feather. So that one is 100% diving, which makes it less likely the other one is diving due to duplication prevention. So this might be guitar they're getting, and then they have to go to find T7 in the back of Aztec and find something like, I don't know, find Sax in the back of Aztec? Ugh. This could get real ugly real quick. It really depends on what this is. An incredible twirl find for Etiquette. That's going to feel really good. T minus 30 seconds for Mike Champ to be in a world of pain. Oh, man. That's a. That's a. It, oh, boy. We got to go around the block and, like, get everyone's reactions to this being a twirl barrel because there's no way anyone has twirl before this point because you had to get into factory to get triangle to go get twirl. So, actually, nobody will have twirl before they look at this for the first time. Nice Pumpkin Hill production room. What is this? What is this move here? Guitar makes the most sense now. It could be sax, but guitar makes a little more sense, I think. It is sax. Ooh, wow. So now your saxophone locks your key seven, almost certainly. Still missing guitar. It's possible feather or trombone lead to something as well. We need to consider those worlds. Yeah, I think this makes sense what we're seeing here. I have a feeling etiquette is going to be thinking one of the saxophone lock ones. Obviously, you're probably not going to be able to do the orange required one, but that igloo, going back to the igloo's area sax check seems pretty good here. I like the super duper looks from Mike. 
Nothing turns up in production, which is unfortunate. It could have been crazy if Guitar turned up on one of those. Yeah, I do love the sax check from, from Medicaid, right? You could, it could just be Key 7 in the igloo. You find Twirl in the igloo, go back to production, yep. and then go back to the igloo. <laughs> it's, just, it's just rude. This is a good play here. We'll see if this pays out. Oh, and don't forget Cabins was hinted at Key 7 too. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe mm -hmm. go there next. But that would be for Blast, which got you Triangle, which kind of got you on this path. And considering That's how long fair. this path is, I'm feeling pretty good about that Blast. Oh, it's nothing. Not here. Maybe Tiny's 5 ship. That puts, that puts the Diving from the Igloo also back in play. And it's just another step on the path for a three three hint key seven, by the way. That's that is not nice. That is very unnice even. This Diz the the um I believe now Diddy's five door ship is dead. Because guitar is gonna be our last item. Unless it's guitar for <laughs> unless it's guitar for key seven, which would be atrocious. This is, this is rough. Uh, feather check? Sure, why not? Hey, man, Edka, where are you going from here? This is this is tough. Is he gonna try and look at Tiny's he's, cabin and see if he I, can do I it? have a feeling he's just gonna do as much as the cabins as possible. But That's true. Like... For, for the same reason it could be... Well... Mm -mm. For the same reason it could be back to the igloo for key seven, it could also be back to the cabins for key seven. There's, it's a hinted, it's hinted region. Clear your hinted regions. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Unfortunately, blast just makes too much sense in the context of this. You got too much stuff that's trailing this path, right? Blast into triangle, into twirl. All three of those are hinted. But what do you do with tri or and then twirl into sax. So what do you do with sax? Or maybe what do you do with twirl? Wasn't there a vial in the mausoleum? Hmm. What, what if that's oranges and that takes you back to Tiny's cabin? That is a good point. That's a cook. That's a nice cook right there. We and, got uh, the patented Elrock cook cooking right on stream chat. Mike knows about that vial. And he does not. That's a that's a spicy vial right there. What is that but, doing? <laughs> but Mike does have to figure out Twirl first. He's got to make the connection to go back to do any any and all triangle checks. Mini plus Twirl check from Etiquette. Love this. Main Caves is somehow not hinted, even though it had, like... Well, it had Gorilla Gone, which we certainly need, but... Oh, boy. Alright, what do we got? It's nothing. Surely he's seen the igloo. I, I wasn't paying attention. Oof. Well, yeah, Gorilla Gone was way the Horde hinted, so it wouldn't be a region hint here. Hmm. Slim Pickens out here. Mike's going back to caves. He's taking his newfound triangle and he may pull his twirl out of it. It'd be a big pull. This makes a lot of sense. This is where you get two triangle checks. And he's oh, seen Chunky Spot Girl Ships. He's so he really nothing. trying to think about this one. <laughs> Ooh, this is a, a deep think pause. Not a think dance, a think pause. Really, really deep, deep in the tank. Mike's going to the igloo. Let's go, Mike. What do we got? Is he on the pad there? He's on the... No, of course not. Or it's so easy. All right. This is a nice play by Mike Champ. He is going to be getting... Ponytail twirl, which will catch him up to etiquette. 
Uh, meanwhile, Etiquette is going to hopefully the five door ship, which is kind of what we were suspecting. Although I, I think we'll see uh, the um, the seasick uh, boat as well. Those checks too. He's thinking, he might be thinking Chunkies, but we've seen Chunkies and no, it's not that. So we haven't seen Tiny's five-door ship. I'm very interested in that. Oh, he wants to get the uh, lobby one first. That's a troll check. Good, good call, good call. Mike's back to factory, back to fact, up the production, twirl away. That's gotta feel pretty good though, right? You got kind of stonewalled in factory, very unfortunate, but pulling twirl immediately on the first thing you go to after leaving factory, he's back on the trail, he's back on the trail, gotta, gotta, getting closer, getting closer. Ooh, upper creme is also a great shout with sax. Yep. This does open Pound the Axe. This would be tricky. Oh man, could it possibly be on Pound the Axe? <gasps> oh, what is that? There it is! It's no. Guitar! No! Oh what no. What is Guitar doing there? Where? Uh oh. I'm scared. Oh my god. Now we can get Key 8. We can beat K. Rule. But we need Key 7! Where's key seven? Yo, shout out Isles checks. Isles checks are just good. They're so good. Can someone remind me who made the seed? Hmm. And he takes his, Etika takes his guitar and charges in the back of Aztec. Just please, yeah. just sh turn up key seven, I beg you. If you're looking for volume and you need to call a guitar path, this is the place to check. And Without with, a doubt. And you get as many, you get proportional amounts of hints based on how deep your path is for to a key. So they have, for reference, they have four key eight hints and three key seven hints. So this key seven is deep. No holds barred. Even though this sax, even though this guitar is like two steps removed from twirl, you had to get sax into guitar. It's still very reasonable for the back of Aztec to turn up something here. Let's see if Mike is uh, thinking Isles checks. Take that sax up to Upper Crown. That's a tough sell, but... Well, I didn't see what was on Lala, but it wasn't Key 7, so... Yeah, I think uh, it was a Igloo banana makes a lot of sense here, too. Igloo makes a lot of sense to go back for, uh... For something. Check your sax stuff here. I mean, you just got... You just got twirl out of the igloo. The igloo's doing. The, the igloo's being a homie this seed, so maybe it just like maybe just like spots you want. Just like etiquette is going to be going for every single metal except chunkies, I believe. They are all guitar locked, indeed. That is a that is a common, extremely annoying reason to need guitar and for guitar to be on the path. It might depend on guns. I think Diddy's is available without guitar, with peanut, and diving. I like how Mike Champs is following the path that I did five minutes ago. I mean, it, it, it's a, it's a good path. It's a good path, and if he continues on, he'll end up in, he'll end up finding his guitar, which would be great. Remember, Etiquette skipped that uh, kiss splat check because Aztec Tunnels is foolish. Still gonna get to sixty, but yeah, you will probably get faster. Are you really gonna get faster ones than that kiss splat? I'm not, I'm not. I don't know if you're getting faster checks than that. I don't know if I agree. Maybe like five door temples or some of these metal checks will get you to 60, but. Oh, doing this. Splat? Doing this check with super duper simian slam is atrocious. Oh, Mike is having some pain. And he is about to get pained by. Get out. Get out. Ooh. All right, chat, we all want it, but the beetle race is not accessible in Aztec because no chimpy charge. It's been a while since one of those turned up on these seeds. I feel like it's been a while since I've seen somebody subjected to the Aztec beetle race. <laughs> Wait, 
Not on the vulture. Alright, we're gonna see a Diddy Metal here. Oh, Mike's going to the top of Krem! <gasps> They're gonna he get Guitar clear. too. He did not clear out the cabins area, so he is following Sax much more closely. He, he kind of like bypassed some triangle checks, like going to the uh, Chunky's cabin. And he's gonna pull guitar here. This is pretty good. I don't I, I don't know if he remembers the clear vial he saw in the mausoleum. It is possible. In addition, he might also consider Diddy's five door ship having a vial. That could be something that gets you to key seven. It's a oh, little bit of a reach. Third melon. <laughs> oh. Alright, nice bait. It's tough, but he is indeed also headed to the back of Aztec. Do we find our key seven in the back of Aztec? Is it perhaps on Funky? Oh, there's a vial here. What, what are you? Oh, you're up to what, no good. Now what? Chill all? Charge? It's oh, should be charged. God. Turn around, baby. <laughs> Mike is following etiquette. Straight into Aztec. We are hastily approaching blackout territory, especially because we know where one clear vial is and we know where another potion is. The clear vial we've seen could be sniper, and one in the vial in the the bonus barrel vial we've seen could be one of pineapple or strong kong. <laughs> or oranges could be the other clear vial. Oh, God. This is a crazy seed, dude. And yet, where's the bean? Where's the bean? We can't just leave the bean behind. How did that happen? <gasps> oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> Key sevens on tiny metal. Well, well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. <laughs> and there is go mode chat. What a goes. seed! Wow, we. My goodness. Off he goes. Bang. We got we got the instruments we need. We got sax. We got bongos. We got guitar and rocket barrel. We're good for helm. Are we good for helm? Why is he leaving? Oh, he Do you know what this means, <laughs> chat? Post the Alta tweet. The Alta tweet. <laughs> I mean, okay, guitar being hinted. It, 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 it was. It was basically hinted. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, like guitar is pretty aggressively hinted towards you, right? You have sax that's hinted. Well, okay, I guess you need sax or something. But the key seven hints point you to twirl. A different hint will point you to sax that is twirl lock. So like. That feels pretty good. And then even know, though, again, I, even though I, your guitar is a little bit like, it, it's a little bit indirectly hinted. The fact that you have three key seven hints means it's worth it to follow something that's hinted that deep. Yeah, but then also you have the stupid trombone location, which was on tiny forest metal, which was not hinted. That trombone will definitely cook some people because you can go get your key five without getting chunky. I advocated it for it even. And then I don't think it ended up being hinted, so... <laughs> Good luck. The best you'll get is Balloon is hinted, and... Hmm. I want to see what Tiny Hellworms are, because if there's a Feather minigame in here, that solves your Feather hint. Which would be highly unfortunate. Into Helm we go. 61 GB is good enough. 60 will do. Mike is collecting tiny bananas. Little does he know, he is on the path. And as soon as he gets that, he's also in go mode. So he is not far behind. He might be like, I don't know, a few minutes behind. Yep, yep, yep. This is the most stressful part of a seed, though, where you're just like, oh god, I just hope it's guitar. Oh, please, oh, just give it to me. Oh, I don't know. Okay, this game isn't for Feather. I really don't want to have to figure out why I need Feather for this. This is going to be a total nightmare to have to explain. Because I'm afraid it has to do with Tiny's Metals in the forest. It'll be interesting to see if he turns out and just does the uh, beetle race here, but... Really, you gotta do those medals. 
Well, he's got to turn around for some tiny bananas. He needs the five pack under the mini monkey barrel, and he needs the five pack over on warp five, and then he gets 20 around the five door temple, and he's good to go. Nope, he is oh. going to do the wheel race. Wait, nope, he's coming back here. Yeah, he's got to go this way, for sure. And then maybe end up at the five door temple. The wheel race isn't like. Okay, it's a pretty slow check. But it's the fans want to see it. That's the he's most dumping. important part. Oh, this is he's... a fat. This is a pretty good Steins, actually. This is a great this is a great spot to dump. I love this. More people really should be using Aztecs uh snides to dump. Or just any snide they run into, right? If you're like kinda close to the end and you're just like, you know what, it's time. Just dump now. Yeah. Pretty good odds you find guitar pretty soon. Well, they're not guitar, pretty pretty good odds you find key seven soon. Not incredible odds, but pretty good. You would like to have better odds than that. But, okay, was that last how many game a twirl one? Or a, a feather one? Is there a replay? Uh, he disabled clips! Oh, I'm going to have words. Uh-oh. My instant replay tech! Fine. Just like, like, you guys load up the VOD. I can't simply be defeated. It is. It was a feather game. It was a shooting game. It was the um, the lanky helm shooting game. So it was just simply feather for a helm game. That is unfortunate. Oh, I could have clipped on this channel too. Sarah, you're a genius. Oh my god. I should make clipping subs only on this channel. <laughs> then you couldn't. That's just okay. 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 That's just toxic. <laughs> I come to please the viewers. Yeah, uh, yeah. And apparently and Mike Champ does too, because we're going to be seeing a beetle race that probably has nothing on it. The the viewers are out here for torture, I guess. They don't really care whose torture it is. It could be either of ours. Ooh, and, Chad uh, has a good point. Clipping might be banned in S2 races, Elrock. <laughs> we might need to ban okay, you if you clip his stream. I'm clipping inbounds. I'm ethically clipping. I'll have you know. Oh, okay, okay. That's how it works. Yes. Show me one bean, please. For those just tuning in, I said so at the beginning of the stream. Um, we're looking to release season three soon, TM. So we're gonna talk about a little bit of the settings that are gonna be available here. See, we, a lot of the races we've done on this channel have been season two, which is just, of course, the current season. We've done some NSAC, no keys, all sales rages, which does use the dev version, which has a lot of the season three features, so. Um, if you're just paying attention to DK6 Randomizer on this, um, I guess, feature, then you're missing out on a lot of features, so we'll talk about them later. Good times had by all. Except for runners in casinos, like this. Well, okay, this isn't that bad. Doink. Mike Champ is going to be following out a kid shortly into Helm, and... Boom. <laughs> That is the fastest stuff. pause exit I've seen in a while. <laughs> Frame perfect. Get me out of here. Be gone, seed. Helm time. Etiquette is in his last minigame. He is cruising. Oh, he's got a lot of homing out for this one. He is just spamming it. <laughs> oh, that, that's a that's a good feel. Eddie gets done with Helm. He's off to get key 8 and go find K rule. Meanwhile, Mike Sham is going into Helm. And Tudos, wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? No one is done. Etiquette is racing for first place right now. It's all oh on the line. Boy. Can he win this weekly? No spoilers in the chat for those who are watching other racers and watching the race time channel. It's tense. It's always tense. It's always tense when you get through home. It's like, oh, you're, you start pulling up the race time. It's like, all right, I gotta get ready to be done. Is anyone else done? No, no one's done. I better have myself. <laughs> oh boy, tiny lanky Diddy in some order. Diddy first. 
Worth noting, no one has sub to the seed. I do not blame them. The seed is pretty bad. <laughs> this was certainly a seed of all time. This is, this is a rough one, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess homie Nemo doesn't do you any good in this phase. What a shame. Nope. Although really, if it did, if it did like actively try and seek out the targets, it would probably just miss more often. Classic shooting through the target you want to hit. Just don't you love it when the when the ammo is like realistic and like shoots from the end of the gun and not just from the center of your body? <laughs> oh, thought he missed Four that target for a second. Yeah, I just love it because Lanky Kong's guns like. His hitbox is way further out, and the ammo shoots farther out because his gun is so long. Well Very realistic game right here. Tiny phase, phase two, we shortened it, cut it in half, still the longest phase somehow. <laughs> no oranges today, so unfortunately this phase doesn't make much sense anymore. K rules just be tickled and uh, tickled with feathers and that somehow knocks him out. The real difficulty of Tiny Phase is just keeping keeping the nerves under control. It's a two minute auto scroller that you know, you just know someone is gonna hit done in the race time before you while you're in the middle of this freaking boot. Oh yep, yep. <laughs> toes my champ is just about done just one more uh one more um phase to shut down helm here one room for mike one toe for etiquette and then lanky phase i think he has to finish with all right what's your secret sauce for lanky phase i just kind of yolo it is there just like a route um, that's just correct yes because uh, K. Rule runs around the ring in a set pattern based on, like, where he is and, like, the timing of when you, like, throw him and hit him. So if you're good enough, um, ideally you throw the banana peels right in front of the, um, I guess, like, where he's going to be in his pattern so he slips immediately. Um, we'll see if Etika knows, but... You say he runs in a fixed pattern, what's the pattern? Is it just, like, some arcane yeah. nonsense? I, I, I can't really... I think it makes just, more sense to watch rather than me describe. You just, you just know. All right, he just, he just knows. Great. This is what happens when you play the game for ages. You just, you just kind of know things, but can't explain why you know things. <laughs> it, just, it just works. What do you mean? Like, just, just, just do, just do it. Like, what? Wow, that's a that's a spicy banana peel. And it is yeah. just enough. Yeah, that's generally where you want to throw the first one, like right in the middle. Um, Etiquette does not have the pattern down, so wasn't quite in the right spot. That's Still gonna be a good. nice phase, though. Well done. Does it change with a phase cut out? I think there's only one. Is there only one pad left now? Here you go. One and more slip. 
That's it. Etiquette. Boom. First place. He has survived and won this weekly. GG. GG's to Etiquette. Really good showing by Etiquette. Really good showing by Mike, too. This is his first time on the restream. And he really kept up most of the time. Like, the, the key four thing, very unfortunate, but, like, he was he in there. He held it together. He held it together. He didn't, he didn't lose the faith, and he found his way there. You know, we all have unfortunate mishaps from time to time, but he's still in the mix, because Eddie could take in first place. And Mike's in an NK rule. He is on his way to maybe take second? Podium? Yep, yep. Who knows where anyone else is. And we are joined by our winner, Mr. Etiquette. Hello, GG. Good morning. That was a morning. seed. <laughs> that seed was pretty bad. <laughs> huh. I... The, that whole ending sequence was ridiculous. A little bit chaotic, Just... yes. Yeah, I... So, finally got Diddy. I, I was like, I can only do one chunky check right now. Uh before I had punch. Uh, and I, I had the, the info of like the, the random shop, right? So I'm like, okay, let me go get, let me go get that item. It ends up being punch. I go back and I'm like, all right, all I've got is the room and the metal because the surroundings are foolish. Um, and I don't have pineapple yet. And so oh, I, I do the room first, and I'm like, oh, this is the god-awful metal where you need blast and barrel throwing and punch, and that's the only way it's logical. So I get that, immediately leave, because uh, I'm like, guitar has to be in production room. Go to production room, skip PTT to get the barrel, need PTT for the mini game. Not so fast. Um, And then I'm like, all right, let me chase key seven instead. So I, I'm like... All right, factory storage gives me, what was it, triangle. I got blast from cabins area, so that follows. And I'm like, all right, igloo area, triangle and igloo must be the key. Ends up being saxophone. So then I start chasing saxophone, find guitar randomly. So, uh, or no, that was PTT. And then saxophone from the barrel, and then guitar from a random saxophone check, all for key seven. And so all of your key eight hints were basically key seven hints too, or the other way around. All your key seven hints were also for key eight. It was just, it just works. It just works. It just works. So something else that I don't know if you consider or not was the igloo on the path to key seven could also point at diving. You could have checked out yes. like Chunky's five door ship, triangle plus diving could have worked. Uh, it I was there. really hoping it wasn't diving. There was, there and was then no, it ended up there. leading to guitar. So it was an yeah. entire level anyways. And then, yeah, uh, and then obviously you, you, you almost ran the table perfectly at the end, right? From pulling mm -hmm. triangle, you almost immediately homed in, or you basically immediately homed in on twirl. You then yeah. you took sax. You did like one check. You did like you cleared out some of caves and then found guitar and then just like ran straight to that guy's tech, which is perfect. Yeah, and <laughs> the best part about the Aztec thing. Uh, obviously, you guys didn't have my audio because uh, I was talking and everything, but I was literally like, you know, I feel like in Aztec, keys are really often on metals. And then I grab the final tiny bunch and it's key seven and I just like <laughs> die laughing, get out of the level and immediately go to helm. It was like, like that. it was like it was scripted. It was perfect. Would you like two more bits of terrifying information that we know? Oh we, god. We know yeah, where, sure. we know where a couple things are. We know that the mausole Tiny's mausoleum has a clear vial. So that yes. could have been what your Toro was pointing to, not Sax. So that's fun. And then yep. even and then also there is a potion in Diddy's five door ship. So that's where your guitar could have been pointing you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Do we know what those are? Uh, yeah, nope. do we know what those are yet? I mean, we you're the first one to finish, so you should go check. <laughs> oh true. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can go check. I, uh, yeah, I knew about the tiny mausoleum and I was like, it's a, it's a clear vial. There was a clear vial in the Diddy tunnel in Japes that I never grabbed, which I assume was the other slam. That is indeed your hinted second slam. Um, and so I went to, uh, I was like, I don't need that slam because it's just pointing to the, the ponytail twirl barrel. Um, 
And then because I figured that was slam, I was like, that would only be sniper or orange. It. Oh, oranges could have been. Oh, God. Yeah. Was oranges plus sax or guitar. Yeah, no. Takes okay. back to the cabins. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, that would have been awful. Yeah, that's why it's oh. so scary that it was a clear box specifically. Like, oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing, oranges? Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to? You're up to no good. But yeah, the other thing I, I liked, I feel like I routed early game pretty well. Uh, going to Galleon before Forest was good. I think the, the one major issue I had in early game was I didn't do the training grounds, like the Vines Dirt, uh, mm -hmm. before going into Forest for the first time. So I cleared Forest, had nothing left to do in any level except Isles. And then because of that, uh, I had to go back into Forest just to get Tiny's Metal to get Trombone. So yeah, it was, uh, and we're, you're gonna find out here shortly. But Mike had that way before you. He routed that in okay. before. And so he to... had, and so he's running around with Chunky like way sooner. Yeah, yeah. That certainly makes. I don't it think up. I got Chunky until like after an hour. Yeah, I, what your Vin Diesel was like 130 or something crazy late, like just ugly. Diddy was not in a very friendly spot, yeah. but no. Chunky's doing you no All favors. Right, so that was instrument upgrade. Okay, so that was bait. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> and GG yeah, to Mike. Sorry for spoiling the stream. Mike finishes. Yeah, GG to Mike. He takes third place in this seed of all time. Wow. Well done. He he made so, it work. He made it work. He had a bit of a, a bit of a stumble on key four, but it, it got there in the end. And he, he takes the bronze medal. Yeah, we're weekly. presuming he missed saw key four or just didn't see it. Uh, we'll bring him in the chat here to uh, to uh, find out. Welcome, yeah, Mike Champ. You are live on stream. GG's and congrats on third place. Tell us how it went. Man, if uh, Welcome, I Mike completely Champ, orphaned stream, key four for congrats. like an extra three minutes. Other than that, I think it went not horribly. That was a little unfortunate, but then the back half of the seed was just almost running the table flawless. Just everything, everything went right, especially like at the last chunk of, okay, get in a factory, give me triangle, give me twirl. <laughs> give me guitar. Give me, or give me, give me sax. Give me guitar. Give me key seven. Go, 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 go. It just all. Yeah, I was work. really in. I was really sad when I got to the twirl barrel using donkey, and I was like, "Oh, this is the twirl mini game." Yep. So. Oh. Yeah, as soon as like I got guitar, thinking, "Oh yeah, saxophone is on the path. It could be the sax pet." And then I saw it was guitar, and I was like, "Well, it's on an Aztec metal." It's oh wow, you you that's, picked Aztec metal immediately. <laughs> that's where it always is. Like the last <laughs> that's three what I'm times saying. I've needed a key, and the guitar has been on the path. It's been a metal in Aztec. <laughs> just it just is. There it is. You heard it here first. Ay, ay, ay. Oh man. I feel like all the yeah, this the, the yucky thing another... about that key four. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say all of us needs to make another review about that one, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, two unhinted metals again. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's the stuff. <sighs> and it's it's. No, funny. I was gonna say the the yucky thing about key four was the only hint you have was light lighthouse area, which was vine swinging for the mini game. Yeah, that's the second time this year we've had a mini game in the tiny two door ship where our only hint was a different move. Last time it was feather, this time it was vines. If I had a nickel for every time there was a, a hinted minigame requirement in Tiny's two door ship, I have two nickels. <laughs> Just as much, but it's weird that it happened twice. But how? How does this keep happening? I don't know, man. I blame whoever gendered the seed. That is. It's funny you mentioned the uh, the twirl realization in production. Due to the item placement, I'm pretty sure every single person who plays the seed will have the exact same realization. Because you had to go into factory to find triangle in order to get your twirl. Yeah. So nobody is running into factory for the first time with twirl. So every single person is going to go towards their way of the horde, tiny production twirl, and discover that, oh, I do need twirl. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Unless you're playing on an N64. Godspeed to whoever that is. Found orange throwing. Oh god! Found orange throwing. Just now, it was in a uh, Diddy's five door ship. Ah, uh, okay. That means the whatever potion in the tiny mausoleum is probably nothing. It was bait, yeah. It was nothing, yeah. I figured as much, considering how late Twirl was and how we already had pretty much everything else we needed.
It was just a really everything. interesting seed overall. Yeah. Slam got hinted, but like, I'm pretty sure that was just so you could slam the switch to see what was in Tiny's production room. Uh, for what it's worth, your second slam got hinted. Both of you randomly found a slam on, I think it was Force Lanky Metal. That's unhinted, by the yep. way. Oh, so yeah. Cool. Two like, oh, random God. unhinted Force Metals. That's, I just that's picked cool. up a Grey Vial, and I just got another Grey Vial move. Which one was which? Mmm. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got them, like, basically on top of each other. Yeah, <laughs> the Zinger Bounce gave me the last five I needed. Yep. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. Can't wait to watch this back tomorrow and be like, ah, yep, okay, I see what I did there. Also, right at the start, I, like, softlocked by switching to Tiny and then she just stood there with her arms down. Uh-oh. I don't know how that oh. happened. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but... I, I wasn't... I guess I missed that. Maybe I was too busy looking at like hints or something. Right at the start in caves, I was gonna go get the Kisplat on top of the igloo, and then I slipped and then changed to Tiny, and suddenly I couldn't move. Oops. Alright, Etiquette <laughs> has not really found anything of value. What are the Are we looking for value stuff? Is. Did you see what... You said Diddy Five-Door Ship was dead, right? It was oranges. Okay. What's in yeah. What's in Tiny Five Door Cabin then? Because I think we were wondering about that one too. Okay. Oh boy. I, don't, I mean, I think anything at this point would just be a random find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, we need a. Yeah. <laughs> we need we need better hints to to find things that aren't required. Mm hmm. Where might we find those hints? Hmm. I had a nice moment trying to get chunky. I don't, I'm assuming you all saw the uh, two, three fails I had on Lanky Dungeon before I finally got it. Yep, uh, yep. I would not recommend trying to do it in one shot. It's <laughs> very annoying. <laughs> I got good at it and then made it so it was harder for me to do like the normal way. And so oh. I just was like really stubborn. I'm like, I'm just going to get it like this. And then didn't work. Didn't work again. <laughs> Sometimes it works, sometimes it it's DK64 and you're on you're playing on ice. DK64 LOL. Couple of those moments. Very, very, very classic falls off of castle. You hate to see it. I think my favorite one was the fall into the pit. Oof. Yeah. I think my I... only fall off. Yo, first? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, Etiquette fell into the pit of doom by Tiny's bonus barrel and castle. <laughs> yeah, well, I got pushed. <laughs> Those bats. I got very pushed. <laughs> Those bats. Yeah, my and one I, fall I was, off. I was, I was five. Uh, yeah, I was five bananas away from Diddy, and I got pushed into that hole. Mike Champ for the people is checking uh, mechfish for us. I gotta check the mechfish. It's gotta be something, right? Sure. We got, we got Diddy so late, we had all his stuff. Yeah, actually, yeah, probably all the good stuff is on Diddy Checks, or all the things that remain around Diddy Checks that <laughs> you'd never find. I have to kill that clump first for some more oranges at a <laughs> up too late. <laughs> yeah, I can do the shockwave though. Yeah. Well, if I can get back up there. There we go. Not me watching a stream on like a 10 million minute delay. <laughs> oh, the game gets rid of your homing ammo at the end. Yeah, right. it's unfortunate. Yeah, it sets it to zero, which is fun. <laughs> What? what? Okay. Ah, uh, it's just the GB. Unfortunate. Oh, that, oh that's from reloading one. the file, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Reloading the file auto sets your val your uh, stuff to specific things. All right, and with that, I think we will wrap up the interview. Thanks for stopping in, guys. No problem. Glad Absolutely. to be here. But um, be sure to stick around on the stream, though. We're going to talk about version 3 stuff. Ooh. 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 All right. 
So we are going to sign off Etiquette and Mike Champ. Thanks for racing again, guys. Close race, good race. And we will bring in Belang. Thanks for having me. See ya. See ya. Morning. Morning.